to speak about Camilla Parker Bowles because I think she was the victim of a vicious attack by Prince Harry in his book. Now her son, Tom, has spoken out, defending his mum in a recent podcast. He said this wasn't any sort of end game. She married the person she loved and this is what happened. He believes there was no agenda. Charles and Camilla were always in love. And I think... Many people now hold that same opinion because Camilla was widely hated for a period there, but I think we've all kind of moved on and realised she was a victim in all this as well. She didn't marry the man she loved. She saw him marry somebody else and in the end she's ended up with him and she'll be queen. I know, and it does feel like, you know, if it... I hate to bring it back to Megan, but Megan complains about this unfair treatment. There were stories about people throwing bread at Camilla at the height of their hatred for her. I mean, that is terrible. Remember when Princess Diana would call her the Rottweiler? Every female in the royal mm. family has dealt with difficult times. And I think that I love that Tom spoke out about this because William w would like to. He's fought for a change in strategy and he's been shut down. And Tom does not have to stay under the never complain, never explain mantra because he's not a member of the royal family, spoke out to defend his mother. And you're absolutely right. I mean, I don't think Camil Camilla was crawling or, you know, Tr desperately trying to get the crown. Her great grandmother was Alice Keppel, who was happily the mistress of the king. You know, I don't think that she ever <laughs> thought she'd get to marry him, let alone be, be the queen consort. So good for her. Well, I say good for her as well. I think it's a happy ending and I think she is a sensible presence in King Charles's life because, as we know, he does have his own issues. Uh, he's got all sorts of political activism that is not going to be helpful when he is the king. Well, he is king, but after the coronation. Uh, uh, do you have any fears that he won't be able to help himself, that he'll be talking about things like climate change, Middle Eastern politics, all sorts of contentious issues that the monarch has no business opining on. I do see that on the horizon, you know, but I, I almost sympathise with him because I believe his heart is in the right spot. You know, you think about, I certainly think he's trying to make a name for himself and he wants to differentiate himself from Queen Elizabeth, who was so loved. However, I think he's already done that. And, you know, environmentally, he was ahead of his time. People called him crazy for talking to his plants, but look at him now. I mean, everybody's trying to save the planet today. <laughs> Um, and I do think that his heart is in the right place. And, and that's where I, I cut him some slack.